up, mate. Settle down, class. Do you have British friends and they speak absolute gibberish? I'm here to tell you some words and phrases that you might not understand. After today, you'll be an absolute pro at British slang. Watch right until the end where I'm going to give you a list of words that you can use with your friends when you go out drinking. God save our gracious King Lord. So I think it's important to get some food out of the way. So this is an obvious one, chips and crisps. Americans call them chips and we call them crisps. And to me, the right one is a crisp. It's 100% a crisp, okay? A chip is made of potato and it's long. They're not fries, they're chips. And crisps ps, 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 are the ones you get in a packet that you munch on. That We've got prawn cocktail, salt and vinegar, ready salted, cheese and onion, bacon. Mwah. They come in all different flavors. Mwah. Biscuits. In the UK, we like custard creams and bourbons and cookies, and they are all classed as biscuits. Now, in the US, I know that you call biscuits nugget in a biscuit. These bread things biscuit. nugget in a biscuit that you have with gravy. With gravy? Are you okay? Now, if I dipped a biscuit in gravy over here, I'd probably get locked up in a psych ward. Mm, yum, yum, I've got to bring tea into it, haven't I? So we say fancy a cuppa. That means, would you like to come over and have a cup of tea with me? Because having a cup of tea in the UK is like a social thing. You sit down with your friends, have a cup of tea and have a chat or a natter. Natter, that is another one. So next time you see your friends, just say, hey up mate, fancy a cuppa. Hey up mate means hello, by the way. But yes, hey up mate. Fancy a cuppa? And they'll definitely say yes. This is another jolly word. So chuffed. I'm so chuffed for you. That literally means I'm so happy for you. I don't know why we use that word. So if anyone says to you, I'm really chuffed for you, it sounds like they want to fire you, but it's not. It just means they're really, really happy for you. Bob's your uncle. Here's another one, which is quite weird, to be honest. Bob is your uncle. It basically means, there you go. That's finished. That's all you need. So I'll put it in a sentence. So if I'm giving you instructions, go and subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment of what are your favorite British sayings. And Bob's your uncle. I, oh, by the way, I have no idea who Bob is. I don't know why he's your uncle, but that's just something we say. Honestly, I don't know why. <laughs> something I'm a bit confused about, right, is that no other country queues like the UK. Is that real? Like, do you guys not queue? Like, that must be mayhem. It must be madness. If, you, if you're in a long queue and someone pushes in, oh, that's literally the worst thing you could ever do. That's so rude. Like, you would, you would probably get punched in the face. You've had it. You've had it, mate. There you go. That's another one. You've had it, mate. That means your time has come. So this one has definitely got a little bit of controversy. So we call a cigarette a fag. Please don't cancel me. It's spelled F-A-G. We say, can I have a drag of your fag, mate? Can I have a suck on your cigarette? That sounds weird. Can I have a smoke of your cigarette, please? That's what it means. So if you ever hear anyone in the UK referring to a cigarette as a fag, it's okay. Do not murder them, do not cancel them. It's fine, it's just a cigarette. While we're on dodgy words, funny. Now I know that funny to you guys means your bum, right? In the UK, it means something completely different. It means the front bum, the lady pocket, the wizard's sleeve, the hairy beaver. You know what I'm getting at? That's what a fanny is in the UK. If you come to the UK and you say, oh, you've got a nice fanny, that's not, it's not appropriate, okay? It's not appropriate, so just don't do that, all right? Also, fanny packs, we, we, we have fanny packs, but they're called bum bags. <laughs> because they go around your bum. I think it's because you call them fanny packs, we have to call them bum bags. <laughs> that also sounds odd. I'm starting to think that British is not the best language in the world. Like, I know everyone speaks English. It's probably not, it's not appropriate. <laughs> a diaper in the UK is called a nappy. I don't know why. I don't know what the difference is. My daughter still calls them diapers because she watches way too much American YouTube. Sometimes some people have disposable ones and sometimes people have ones that you wash. I would never have the ones you wash because I do not want to get in my washing machine. Speaking of washing machines, we keep them in our kitchen. I know, right? It's just where it belongs. That's where all the plumbing is. That's where the washing machine goes. So we can do the laundry and cook dinner at the same time. My washing machine is literally next to my cooker. Here's another one that you might not know. Um, when we were at school, we used rubbers. They're not the things that you're thinking of 
please just bear with me they're actually erasers we don't call them erasers we call them rubbers i think it's because they're made out of rubber but we call them rubbers i know they erase things but we call them that i don't know why we just do it, it, you can call it an eraser if you want to but nobody does it's a rubber a minga does anyone know what a minga is a minga is someone that's not very nice looking someone that's a bit a bit awful in the face someone that probably got glasses and a few spots oh i'm probably a minga but it's just an insult it's an insult to call someone ugly so if you get called a minga while you're over here it's nothing to do with the chinese it means that you're ugly here's a basic one for you this one's pretty straightforward you probably know it already pants so pants in the uk are your underwear pants in the usa are your trousers why don't you just call them trousers it's so confusing what do you call your underwear so the different types of underwear for men we have boxers which are like shorts you can have baggy boxers or tight boxers so the baggy ones are called boxers the tight ones are called trunks and then we have pants which are pants <laughs> i don't know how else to describe them we have a g-string which goes up the booty and then we have a jock strap which just holds the meat and two veg you probably don't even know what that means to be honest i'm not going to explain it just imagine the meat i don't know how to do this without getting demonetized the meat and the veg the meat and the veg and there's two veg most of the time sometimes some people have one <laughs> And here's some drunken terms for you. These next few words mean that you've had too much to drink. So we've got drunk, we've got trolleyed, we've got smashed, mullered, wankered, absolutely wankered, totally f***ing wankered, off my tits, mortally drunk, plastered, wasted, three sheets to the wind, steaming or steamboated. I don't know why. Wrecked or sloshed. So there's a nice bunch of words you can use for the next time you go out with your friends. Get creative start mixing them together because that's normally just what we do i'm curious to know if there's any british words or phrases that you've heard of and don't understand what they mean if you leave them in the comments below i will reply to every single one i feel like we all need a drink after that video so go and grab one and then watch this video next bye